What is up to all of my little unicorns, new and old? It's your girl West Indie Ray back again with another information filled video. I'm so glad to be back on my channel and so thankful for all of the love and support that you guys gave me on my last post. You guys literally watched me manifest my husband into my life. You believed in our love and sharing that moment with you just felt like a beautiful moment of completion. I'm also really excited to share more of my married life with you guys as well. But that's not at all what we're talking about today. Today's video is about you. And honestly, I've been looking forward to making this video for a really long time because this simple concept that I'm going to share with you guys today has completely reshaped my life in the best way. Today's video is going to be about how to hack your mind into expedited growth and see real results in your life. I'm not sure if this is something that has been theorized before or that has an actual name because you know there's nothing new under the sun, but this concept is of my own mind and it has worked wonders for me so I share it with as many people as I possibly can. I believe that this realm is constructed of few principles infinitely reimagined. And with that being said, if you have the answer to one thing, you have the answer to many things. This belief has led me to the following concept when it comes to working out the issues that I have in my personal life. I don't work on problems, I work on principles. When I speak about principles, I'm talking about things like respect, loyalty, discipline, courage, and many more. A lot of times it's really easy to identify specific problems that we have in our lives, but until we identify and master the principle of the problem, it will honestly just keep reoccurring in our lives until we do. For instance, a person who struggles with infidelity in their relationship, they might initially think that their issue is that they're attracted to other people when really it could just be that they need to work on discipline. Until they master discipline, they will continue to be vulnerable to making those same mistakes no matter who they're with or how happy that person makes them. But the good news that I've come here to share with you guys today is that principles work a lot like a good workout routine. If you're into fitness, you know that there are a million workouts to work your legs, your arms, your core, and so on. But no matter what glute workout you choose, it will still lead to a firmer butt at the end of the day. And doing a variety of targeted glute workouts will get you well-rounded results much quicker. I view principles the same way. As long as you're able to identify which principles need work, you can become intentional about strengthening that muscle overall. And this is what's gonna get you where you need to go a lot faster now that you're not focusing on a false target, which is just the problem. I think the workout equivalent to this situation would be like, wanting a bigger butt but doing a million jumping jacks a day which is really just going to exhaust you and probably have other benefits maybe solve some other problems that you're having but at the end of the day your butt's still not getting bigger so it's like is it working you know what i'm saying so if the person who struggles with infidelity realizes that discipline is their main problem and instead of just focusing on not being attracted to so many different people they instead become more disciplined with their daily routine, they're more disciplined with their work, they're more disciplined with their diet. They're strengthening that muscle overall, making the problem of infidelity so much easier to conquer. The muscle is already strong and they probably are gonna end up having things that they didn't even imagine would improve because of working on this principle, but that all fall under the umbrella of that principle. Even if this wasn't the original goal, you'll probably even have more money in your pocket because what does it take to save money? Everybody say it, discipline. Flipping this concept is also very beneficial when deciding how close you get to people in your life. If you can identify certain markers in people like lack of discipline or lack of integrity or lack of loyalty and you're able to really like get to know them and target where that's coming from and confirm that it's not their feelings about a specific thing and you're just reading it the wrong way and that's actually a principle that they need to work on, it might save you a lot of time, money, and or heartbreak. That's not saying go about judging people, but just keep your antennas on and keep your mind open and be aware. If you don't, you might hurt your own feelings. One of my favorite practices is asking my ancestors, you can ask your God or whoever it is that you ask, to help me identify the main principles and themes that I will encounter during this season of my life. With that, I'm able to work a lot more intentionally and flow through my obstacles with ease. And if you don't wanna go that route, you can honestly take a look at your life and really just take inventory of the things that you're kind of lacking in and write a list for yourself of one or two or three or even more 
things that you feel like you need to work on so that you could become intentional about that in your everyday life and begin to strengthen your principles overall. I really hope that the people who were meant to hear this message heard it, that it makes sense to you and that it is as beneficial for you as it has been for me. If you have anything positive or constructive to add or if you just want to hear more about the ways that I make sense of this realm in my head, make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point in the video, also don't forget to add your little unicorn emoji into that comment as well. And that wraps up my video for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all of my social media accounts right down there and I'll see you in the next one.